Hi, I'm Adrian Clark. I'm Shortlist Style Director, and today on Instant Improver, I'm going to show you how to care and clean for patent shoes. Patent leather shoes are very much on trend this season, um, with a lot of uh, the catwalk shows showing them. And a lot of men buy them thinking they look very bright and sparkly and beautiful, but they then suddenly panic once they get them home or certainly after they've worn them once or twice, as to how to keep them clean and how to maintain them. Normal shoe polish just isn't going to cut the mustard because obviously that's going to leave a kind of a tarnished or a matte finish to, to, to the actual shoe. Funnily enough, the easiest way to look after these shoes is by using normal household products. Um, there are specific patent leather cleaners on the market, which obviously you can buy, but however, I don't think it's necessary because all of these products here will actually do just as good a job. First of all, when you're going to be cleaning a pair of paint and leather shoes, the best thing to do, use is one of these very soft bristle brushes. So this is just a normal shoe polishing brush. Um, try to use one obvious, for obvious reasons that you haven't used with shoe polish, one that you use for clean, just for buffing to remove any of the kind of dried mud or pieces of dirt that may have lodged themselves in between the seams of the shoe or in between the laces, get rid of all the excess rubbish. Secondly, you take a cloth, any cloth. Um, if you don't have any hanging about, you can even use an old pair of socks. And then you use just a very, very <coughs> soft fluid. So I would recommend either a washing up liquid or um, a hand wash. Just mix it in with a warm water and you just wipe the actual surface of the shoe. This will take all of the dust and the, the kind of initial marks off of it. Now if you have severe marks in it or kind of deep gashes or kind of, uh, uh, kind of scathes in it, the best way to get rid of those is to actually use shaving foam, believe it or not, or toothpaste. What you do is you will take a small piece of either, um, put it onto the patent leather, and then just with your finger tip, you need to rub it in until it cleans the actual scuff, um, and then take off with a dry cloth, will take most scuff marks off a of patent leather. Um, there are more professional fluids you can use, such as mineral oil does a really good job. Nail varnish remover, but it has to be acetone free because what you've got to remember is patent leather. The reason why it has this high shine is it's actually a leather with a, a, a coating on it, like a PVU or a plastic coating, a very thin layer. So that will take the coating off if it has an acetone in it. Um, then once you've done that, um, all you need to do basically is to buff them up and the best thing I've found to use is either a window polish or, um, even better, a furniture polish. Polish it in and then taking the other side of the cloth, which is clean, wait a few seconds and then you buff it until it really does have a completely mirrored and high shine surface. That's the way to actually get them looking the part for when you want to go out the door. Now, looking after them in between times, um, there's a couple of things I strongly recommend. I find these are an absolute godsend. They're called a shoe tree. What they do is they will stretch the shoe out because also patent leather has a tendency to crack when you've worn it too much. This will help to stretch it into shape. Rule of thumb with all shoe wearing is you should never wear the same pair of shoes two days in a row. You should always give it a day's gap because the shoe will retain moisture and the moisture will eventually stretch the shoe and make the shoe go out of shape. So always leave them one day to recover with a, with a shoe tree. And finally, when I am storing them away, what I do is I use a little piece of petroleum jelly which, because obviously some of these products, um, I don't think are harmful, but they're not obviously designed to do the job that, that we're doing here. But if after you've worn them, you take a little bit of petroleum jelly, smear it into the shoe, it will actually um, soften the leather and keep them moist and stop them cracking or drying out. And I can't stress strongly enough to invest in some of these, which are shoe bags. 
store it away once you've, once you've done that. And that will stop at least a lot of the dust and the residue when they're laying around, because obviously we don't wear something like a paint and shoe every day of our lives from gathering. Um, then when you're ready to wear them the next time, go through the same process I said with cleaning. The petroleum jelly will come off um, a treat and they will be polished and looking great. Um, that's ultimately the best way to deal with it. I um, hope that's been of some help. Thank you very much for listening to me. If there are any other grooming or styling dilemmas that I can help you with, please tweet me at Shortlist Magazine. Thank you.